So today, I'm going to try a new experiment. I purchased the T-Mobile. It says it's the T-Mobile home internet. Now, this one, however, is a T-Mobile business internet. It's supposed to have a, a little bit more power uploading speed and downloading speed. And I got this because what I need to do is to make sure that my speed on the internet is good for sending uploads and doing downloads, especially when you're doing broadcasts and as many broadcasts as we do. Right now, I have another internet provider, and they're so-so, but sometimes it drops and sometimes it's up. And the reason being, I'm thinking, is because I'm in a residential area, even though I'm in a business address. So we're going to unpack this to find out if this here T-Mobile business internet is worth the buy. Let's open this box up as we see what it comes with and uh, determine if everything is copacetic here. Okay, it comes nicely wrapped. And there's some other neat things here at the bottom. Let's see if we can get that out. And it looks like it's the, the power cord and the Ethernet cord. And that's it. Nothing else in the box. Okay. Now let's check out the actual unit. It's cylinder shaped. And let's go ahead and unveil that. And so here is the T-Mobile. It's a router. And what else is it? It's a router and a Wi-Fi. So it has everything in it. You can also, it looks like in the back, I can plug in my Ethernet cord, power cord, and a couple other doodads on here. So we're going to find out real quick what these things are and how they work. So here are the instructions in this white box here. Open this up, see what we got on the inside. I'm sure it's instructions and exactly, it's, it says home internet on the outside of it. Even though it should be business internet, I think that's interesting. Hopefully I'm getting the business package. We're gonna also make sure and take a look at the, our, our, their website to make sure everything is copacetic, but it's real simple. They tell you to one, position it. You can see that, number one, positioning. Number two, power on. Number three, it looks like I have to download something off of my phone. And number four, they give us support. So let's do the first thing. Position it. Well, for today, I'm, I'm going to position it right here on our console desk where we do all of our um, streaming. Uh, what I love about our, our desk here, just by the way you didn't know, it uh, has wheels on it. So we can move this desk between studios uh, if we need to. So let's see how this works. Okay, I'm in my Apple store. I just searched for T-Mobile Home Internet. I'm going to press that. And uh, where is it? Okay, I guess this is it. Oh boy, it only gets two two stars. Let's see about that. We got a show coming up here in a minute, but let's get that and uh, see exactly what we got to do. Double click this. It's done. Down, down, accepting. Now we'll just make sure it downloads properly. And uh, okay, let's open it. Would I like to receive a uh, fine connection to this device on your local internet? Uh, should I say allow or don't allow? I guess I can say okay. All right, here we go. It says set up device. So we're going to press set up device. Okay. So now it show us the T-Mobile Internet Gateway white or the T-Mobile Internet Gateway gray. So we got gray, so we're going to click on that. On a scale of 1 to 7... How confident are you that you would be able to complete this do-it-yourself? Uh, I'm very confident. 
Let's go. All right, so now it's telling me to take a, a scan of the the code that's on our instructions. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to allow that. Okay. We're down to five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what happens. It says next. So we're going to go hit next. Check the gateway. And let's see here. Uh, look at the top of the screen. I'm doing that. I'm tapping the screen. And it says download. I did that. I did that. Download. Uh, it says download the T-Mobile home internet app. I did that. Scan the QR code. We've done that. Say yes on here. Hang tight. Your gateway is updating its software to the latest version. I'll let you see what it tells me. There it is there. And wait for the update to complete before continuing setup. This may take up to five minutes. Okay. It's telling me that I am connected. I'm going to put in my own password because I like to do stuff my way. So we're going to do that now. Okay, configuring network. I'll let you see that. It's showing that we're connected. T-Mobile wants to join Wi-Fi. I'm going to let that let you see that. And I'm going to join. And do not switch to other apps during this time. I won't. And we're going to let all that stuff get together. It looks like I only got four bars instead of five bars. Now, again, the reason we got this is because I wanted to, one, use 5G, but also, two, when we're sending out our shows, and we're broadcasting, I wanted something more powerful, more closer to the set, because currently our current Wi-Fi is in the back. This thing is going to be right here on the, on the table, on the set, and it's only 50 bucks, only 50 bucks a month for supposedly all this power I'm getting, where I'm paying another um, internet provider about 120, 121. Plus it gave me a phone number that I don't need for this location because all our phones is, is on the, uh, is on is, is cell phones. So at the main location we have, you know, a wired line, but here I don't need it. So matter of fact, if you ask me, I don't even know what the phone number is. So I won't need that phone number. That's going to get rid of that bill and only going to pay 50 bucks a month. So that's the real reason why I got it. And so now what they have here is just showing that I have a very good signal to the Internet. So that's all it took. It was it was real easy. But overall, I think I'm going to be happy with this unit. Um, we'll let you know as you start watching the different shows on KAZ if you can see a difference. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully everything looks great. As always, there's no lagging. There's no buffering on any of our KZ uh, shows that are done here in our this studio. Because, of course, at the other studio, we got all kind of fiber optics there. You, it's, it's always a perfect show. Last but not least, just wanted to remind all those folks that want to learn about podcasting. Remember, I'm only doing this to the 31st of August. And then that's it. I am considering to do some things online because, you know, with the COVID-19 and things like that. And I do promise to do one-on-one, but that's not guaranteed. I mean, we have a lot of business and we want to thank God for all the business we have, but I do believe in putting back into the society. So again, if you want to learn how to do podcasting, if you want to have your own podcast studio, there's no shame in my game. Tell me that I'll be happy to set you up. If you want one in your home, if you want to do a something more elaborate like we have here. If you just want to have something so that you can interview people online other than using Zoom, let us know. Click on KAZRadioTV.com and sign up for the class today. You will be glad you did. Until next time.